Welcome to the video on creating work step groups using CCH Access Workstream. In a typical project workflow, one work step must be completed before the next one can begin. Work step groups allow you to track concurrent tasks. All the tasks in a group must be complete before you can begin the next work step. The work steps in a group are called child work steps. Each child work step can be defined separately and its status can be tracked independent of other child work steps. You can create work step groups in templates or in projects. In this demonstration, we'll add a group to a project. First, open the project. In the open project, click work steps. To create a new group, in the work step grid, select the work steps that will be in the group. Then, Click Group. Enter a name for the new group. Then, click OK. The new group is added to the list of work steps. Click the plus sign next to the group to display the child work steps in the group. A group's budget and actual hours are the sum of the hours for the child work steps. The start and finish dates for the group also come from the child work steps. If you need to remove a child work step from a group, first select the work step in the expanded group. Then, click Remove from Group. The removed work step displays beneath the group it came from. You can also add a work step to an existing group. In this example, we'll add a work step to the file group. First, click the work step you want to add to the group. Next, click Group. Click Existing Group. Then, select the work step group. Click OK. The work step is added to the group. Thank you for viewing the video about creating work step groups.